Hello everybody, welcome back to another Honeybee Games Hype Hideout. Today we are taking a look at Hindsight 2020. This is a gameplay trail that came out two days ago. Uh, it is from Triple I Games, which apparently is from some Bioware, ArenaNet, and Sucker Punch developers. Uh, and they have come together to make a super stylish... Uh, I'm assuming it's indie, but I'm actually not sure. Stylish hack and slash game, uh, like an action adventure hack and slash kind of thing. I'm getting strong Shinobi vibes, like PS2 era Shinobi vibes. Um, that's it. It's brand new. Let's check out the trailer. What if your actions changed how everyone treated you? Oh my god, it's adorable. Oh my god. This is so my vibes. Let's get some blood with a missing arm. What? Wait, uh, I want to see what that was. Respect, look at this town. Fear? You were like an idol of... Or a, uh, an image of fear. Choices you make change the world. What? What if you could relive your past for a different story and ending? Uh-huh. Re replayable, got it. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> it's like chibi Assassin's Creed, I don't know. <laughs> Huh. Hindsight 2020. So they're highlighting two weapons in the title. And that's really it. Oh, so he doesn't... Okay. I thought when you chose one of those weapons, you lost an arm or something. Uh, oh, it's on Switch and PS4. It's on everything. Okay. Um... It's obviously, so I, I'm going to go ahead and say that it, it is Indy. So the character does have one arm. This is weird. When he's fighting, some of the attacks, like, freeze the entire combat system, weirdly. Uh, I don't know what that's about. It. Yeah, what's going on? There's, like, I don't know if it's a style choice or if it's just some, like, early jank. Um... The combat does look cool. It's fun. Uh, the, the thing that strikes me most about this trailer is the characters. I really like the proportions. Uh, it's like fun, cutesy, um, colorful, but like it's not. There, I, I don't know. It has like a like a action figure kind of element, but it's like a cutesy anime. I don't know. There's just something. I guess it's Wind Waker. -y is what I'm trying to say. It feels kind of Wind Waker. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting is that it looks like it takes place around one town. Like, even when they're showing those four shots there, uh, it looks like it's focused around one village. There's some there's some early cutscene stuff right there. Um, so I don't know if it's, it's all about the choices you make and affecting this one city. That seems to be the case. Because uh, he's fighting all the villagers right now. He had them worshipping him at some point. So it looks like it's just... It, it's going to be probably a smaller project, I would imagine. Um, I don't imagine it being a very long game. Actually, there's multiple idols of him as, a, as an evil hero around town. Uh, I feel like this is going to be the kind of game that, like they said, they, you're, you're meant to replay it like many, many times. Maybe like four plus times. Uh, just to see what you can do in this this sort of uh, world. 
like this small scale world. This environment is weird though because this isn't anywhere near the city. That sort of is. I don't know actually. And I wanted to check. Let me see what kind of choice he's making here. Andrew's life is in danger. I need to save my friend and avenge my father's death. Uh, my father is dead already. I don't want to risk my life in order to save Andrew. Interesting. So it might... I don't know. It's got, it's got to be deeper than I'm thinking. Maybe this game does have a fully fledged world and story. Who knows? Also... I absolutely called the Shinobi vibes. I didn't realize his mask literally has the multiple Shinobi eyes. Um, yeah, it, it looks cool. I'm, I would like to see more. I want to know how the systems actually play out, how you affect this world. And uh, I'm mostly just curious about the scope of the game. I want to know if there's other levels to explore. Uh, is it open world? Like what there's a lot of questions to be had from this trailer like do, do the choices you make come out of the weapons you choose to use like i don't know uh i'm gonna keep following it if you're interested uh you can check it out yourself just google uh Actually, they might not. No, nope, I'm not seeing a website. So I don't know. If you if you want to check it out, just search Hindsight 2020. Um, if you like the reaction. Make sure you hit the like button. You can go check out the channel to see other reactions like it. I am throwing up a huge batch of reactions tonight. If you want to see some Mortal Kombat. If you want to see some Persona. Persona, baby. Ah, I love Persona. Okay. Um, you can check that stuff out. Um, links are down below if you want to go check out the Twitch channel. Uh, all the VODs from Twitch get uploaded to the YouTube channel as well. So if you want to see some gameplay um, or some full walkthroughs of games, we've just done Kingdom Hearts 3 and Shenmue 1. Uh, we're playing some Hyrule Warriors. Just some good stuff over on the channel. So if that interests you at all, you can check that out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.